never felt that felt that come on yeah never felt that felt that come on yeah when I never felt that felt that come on yeah you you gotta get up the nature of cities but we have established a theme Champions League. Jag tog med ut från Mackenbarn till Aspen Om jag ville bli rappikon Sa det var ganska svårt Skick till skolan med min nya jigsäck Men också det som hette Bob and Jim Jekt Precis som om man siktar för lågt Och hamnar man lågt Jag ville gå längre än så Och hamnar bland någon Skick till skolan med min nya jigsäck Men också det som hette Bob and Jim Jekt Du får gå till sjunga Nej, 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 nej Så det jag har förträngt Var bra på lång distans Men kunde inte hoppa längt Jag blåste mina drömmar i ballonger Som jag knöt på balkongen Var då men ingen ångar Eller skull i den skötsamma åldern Jag njöt alla gånger Men tolv var full av fan Bröts alla gången Han har egna idéer Och han sitter aldrig still Om han gör det som vi vill Jag kultar runt som om min röv sköt lag Och spelade kul Och gjorde kallat det slag Och julbom för hus på ett bra Tack för sång och inga frågor Och nu, 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 nu Var mina budord Snodde så många äpp Landet från swingen Den här går ut till alla er som hört Hit the road jack och undrar det vad som händer sen Här kommer den Jack han hade ju problem De inte nämnde något om Hyresrätten en steg i pris Och skatten den blev en om Han hade nog försökt det mesta Men när kronofogden kom Fick han pansätta pianot och skrivmaskinen Så det blev ingen mer än så While many people think that the world is overpopulated, no one can actually define overpopulation, making it difficult to prove or disprove. The best they can do is point to examples, such as traffic jams, homelessness, and long lines at the coffee shop. 
But these are not examples of global overpopulation. These are examples of urban overcrowding. We know this because these conditions only exist in cities. And cities, by definition, are places where very large numbers of people are deliberately grouped together. All these people make innovation, collaboration, and economic development possible where it wouldn't have been otherwise. And, as anyone who's ever been to a rock concert knows, when you group large numbers of people into one place, it gets crowded. And, like a concert, a city is crowded because people come from miles away to be there, not because people are recklessly reproducing. In fact, studies show that the birth rate actually drops when people move to urban settings and is notably lower than the rural birth rate. Less space and a higher cost of living make it less feasible to have a large family in an urban setting, as opposed to the country, where a large number of children help you to do things, like run a farm. An empty city is a failure, since no one wants to be there. The thing is, having so many people in one place poses certain logistical challenges, which means infrastructure needs to be built to support them. Sometimes this infrastructure fails, resulting in unemployment, homelessness, gangs, and other social evils. But, just as people continue to go to concerts, despite the scarce parking, the trash, and the impossible traffic, the promise of better jobs, prestigious schools, modern healthcare, and high culture calls people to leave the countryside and move to the city. As a result, the cities are crowded, and the rest of the world is mostly empty space. If the crowding is unbearable, you can always move elsewhere. Perhaps Kansas. Stod det klart att de saknade äktenskapsförord som Utan hustru eller någonstans att bo Förräkningen den blev ganska stor efter advokaternas prestation Hotellätterna gjorde sitt och snart var plånboken tog Fick han låna pengar av släkt och vänner och övernatta hos sin bror Medan exfru skaffade sig en ny kar Han var pins, pastor i församlingen Där de sjöng i kören som barn Och medan livet gick framåt Satt Jack ensam kvar Och drängde sig i problemen i Kvarterets bodega eller bar uh, uh. Stick i väg Jack Var det sista som sades När bartänden stängde för kvällen För att aldrig mer komma till bars Och vad som hände efter detta Får vi nog inga svar Men snälla stanna kvar I alla fall ett par, tre, fyra låtar kvar Traditionally, poverty has been concentrated in rural areas. But the face of poverty is changing. The city is enticing and many rural residents migrate, hoping to build a better life, find more work opportunities, better education for their children, and better health and social services. But for many poor people, the promises of the city are never delivered on. In the developing world, three million people move to cities every week. Today, more than half of humanity lives in cities, making the urbanization of poverty one of the biggest global challenges of the new millennium. Slums represent the places where urban poverty and inequality meet within cities. One in three city dwellers lives in a slum. Slums are home to millions of children and youth. They are the slums' first residents and the slums' first casualties. It is critical that World Vision responds to the changing face of poverty. What can we do to contribute towards safe and livable cities where children thrive?
Den här går ut till alla som hört Hit the road Jack och undrar vad som hände sen Här kommer den Jack han hade ju problem De inte nämnde något om Hyresrätt We're already doing it with cars and with bicycles. We are finally learning how to share. Cars are parked about 95% of the time and driven 5% of the time. So millennials are thinking, why would I own a car that I don't use except for 5% of the time? Why don't I just pay for what I use? Sharing is the natural outgrowth of a more social generation, a generation born with the internet. Technology fuels sharing, says the Obama administration's chief urban planner, and offers ever more choices in the way we live and work. Millennials in particular like choices, and so I think we're going to see changes in the workplace to give them more of that work-life balance. That might mean they get to spend more time, uh, the workforce in general, more time teleworking. Uh, being able to work from home or some third location. Which in turn will create new urban cores. Places that might have been considered sprawl or exurbs are now figuring out that their future is about denser, mixed use, convenient neighborhoods with work, home and play all sharing one smaller space. Urban planners of the future will not only have to deal with social change but also with climate change as cities like Boston face stronger storms and higher sea levels. On Boston's Burroughs Wharf, million-dollar condos hang over the harbor, the rising harbor. When you look out at this water, do you really see 10, 15 years from now that it's going to be that much higher? It'll be higher. An expert in climate change, Doug Foy advises city governments and planners on energy efficiency and environmental protection. Urban planners are going to have to deal with that by planning their cities around resiliency, around adaptation around dealing with the threats and consequences of more intense storms. Which means everything from putting storm gates out in the ocean to moving building systems to higher floors. Parks will also become defensive, like Boston's Emerald Necklace, which serves as both green space and a floodplain surrounding much of the city. And then there is heat. Already in most cities, there's a clear uh, differential between the heat in the city and the heat outside of the city. There's something called the urban heat island effect. To offset that, cities will have to do double duty, generate energy while keeping the city cool. Imagine those green roofs on the tops of buildings. What if they grew food for restaurants on the ground floor? What if we had green walls? Uh, that could also help produce food and cool buildings. As planners imagine, corporate America is watching because the potential for profit is huge. Specifically, what kinds of companies would profit from the rebuilding of our cities? Well, all the companies that are in um, energy systems, energy efficiency, uh, IT systems, this is where people want to be. We're just going to have to be smarter about it, and we can be smarter. Because there is an enormous economic opportunity to do this well. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Boston. Uh -uh. Sticky Ben Jack var det sista som sa. Snäbbar tennis stängde för kvällen för att aldrig mer.